everyone. Welcome back to One Cent Sports Cards YouTube channel. We have another release coming out this week of June 21st, 2021. This one is the very photogenic 2021 Top Stadium Club, one of my personal favorite sets of the year. But how well does it stack up on the One Cent Sensational Set Ranking? Well, it's time to find out in this 2021 Top Stadium Club Set Guide and Review. So the beautiful photography of Top Stadium Club returns for yet another season. And in this set guide and review, what we're trying to find out is how good this set really is. We're going to do that by using the exclusive one cent sensational set ranking system. What is that, you ask? Well, for you, those of you that don't know, it is the most in-depth ranking system you're going to find anywhere on the internet. It covers off on 10 different categories that we can break Top Stadium Club down into. And each one of those categories are going to be worth 1 to 10 points. So that is everything from card quality, the auto checklist, the artistic value. You name it, there's a category for it, and it's going to get 1 to 10 points. Then what we do, we add up all of those category points and give it a 1 to 5 star rating based upon the scoring system you see over on the left. Then what we do is we compare the 2021 Stadium Club set with the 2020 set to see if the set is getting better or maybe if it's falling back a little bit. And finally, we will compare Stadium Club to all of the other 2021 sets that have been released so far in this card collecting season. So before we begin, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It's the best way that you can support the channel and let me know that you like these set guides and reviews and be sure to subscribe so you can see every set guide that comes out in the 2021 card season. And if you wanna see them first, be sure to hit that bell notification so you are notified as soon as I press them live. So, Tops Stadium Club. Like I said earlier, one of my favorite sets of the year. Here's what we're covering off on today. First, we'll start with the set highlights, give you that 10,000 foot view of what is offered from Stadium Club this year, give you all the different buying formats that you can buy it in. Then I'll even tell you what the key cards that we're going to be chasing in this set are. Dig a little bit deeper, tell you what all the different parallels are going to be, what all of the different inserts are going to be, and what all of the autos are. And when we're done with that, I will even show you the teams that I would target in breaks, give you a couple sleepers, give you who I think the best teams are, and tell you which team has the most value, etc. Then I'll tell you what I think the overall set positives of Stadium Club are, what a few of the negatives are. And that's what brings us to our one cent sensational set ranking where we can see how good Stadium Club really is. And then we'll even look at all of the set rankings from this 2021 card season. So let's jump right into the set highlights. First thing to know about Top Stadium Club. It is a long standing set that is driven by photographic excellence. There are no better photos in the card season than Stadium Club. It has a 300 card base set checklist for 2021, and it is in its 22nd year of production, kind of off and on since 1991. So technically it's been out for 30 years. So it is celebrating that 30 year. However, keep in mind, it's only actually been produced 22 times. So we're going to celebrate the 30 years of Stadium Club throughout this year's set. And there is an 11 color base set checklist parallel rainbow. We'll cover off on that here in a little bit. There's also a 90 card set uh, chromium variation parallel that has a six color rainbow as well. So that is chrome versions of the base set. There's only 90 cards in the set and it has a six color rainbow. There are four new insert sets that have been introduced for 2021 and the triumvirates inserts return after a few years off. If you're not familiar with what those are, they are three cards that actually interlock together like a piece of a puzzle to form three different players 
most of them on the same team, obviously. But so the triumvirates return after a few years off. The set is available in hobby and retail format, so you can find it at your LCS. You can also find it online or at Walmart. And what you're going to find in every hobby box is two autos. There's also box toppers that are going to be available in the hobby boxes and in blaster boxes, and they're different in the blaster than they are in the hobby. And then finally, lots of different case hits this year. We've got the beam team insert, the members only parallel, the gold minted chrome parallels. Uh, there's a photographer's proof in there. Those are going to be one and two cases. So lots of different case hits that you can find in Stadium Club this year. So let's cover off on the buying formats. First, we've got hobby. You can get a hobby case. There's going to be 16 boxes per case, 16 packs per box, eight cards per pack. That gives you 2,000. 48 total cards. Current cost is about $2,000 for a case. So that gives you a cost per card just under a dollar at 98 cents. Guaranteed to get 32 autos, 16 different chrome parallels, 16 triumvirate inserts, 16 box loaders. You're also going to get a beam team case hit insert, a gold minted parallel case hit, and one members only parallel case hit. But if you don't got two grand to drop, drop down to the hobby box where you're going to get 16 packs per box, eight cards per pack for 128 total cards. And the cost on that is actually a right around 128 bucks. So your cost per card is $1 exactly. And you're going to get two autos, one Chrome parallel, one triumvirate and one box loader. But we can also get retail. Different formats we have here. You've got the retail box, 24 packs per box, five cards per pack, 120 total cards, cost you about 90 bucks. So a cost per card of about 75 cents. You've also got a blaster box. That's gonna have eight packs in the box, five cards per pack for 40 total cards, cost you about 20 bucks, cost per card around 50 cents. And you are guaranteed to get one wrapped master photo base variation box topper. You can also get a Val pack. That's gonna have 12 cards in it, 12 to total cards, right around $6, and the cost per card on that is going to be $0.50. Cents. And there will also be individual gravity feed packs available, and you might even see some different variations of formats that are based upon the retail outlet that is selling them. For the parallels, a little bit of a smaller rainbow, which is not uncommon for Stadium Club. For the base set, we've got a parallel of a red foil, a black foil, a sepia, which is only going to be available in retail. And then you've got the black and white, which is only available in hobby. Then we get to our numbered parallels. You're going to have a blue foil to 50, a 30 years of stadium club. So that is new for 2021, obviously. There's 30 copies of that each. And then you've got a rainbow foil board to 25, a first day issue, which is only has 10 copies, a members only, which is one per case, a photographer's proof, which is one in two cases, and a gold rainbow foil, one of one, which is only available in hobby. For the chrome parallels, that 90 card subset, you can get a refractor, which is going to be one in four hobby boxes. And then you've got an orange numbered to 99. You've got a pearl white to 30. You've got the gold minted, which is what that Fernando Tatis you're seeing below is. Those are one per case. And then you have a super fractor. So those are going to be our parallels for Stadium Club this year. Here's the key cards. First of all, the rookies. We've got Trevor Rogers, Ryan Mountcastle, Jazz Chisholm, Dylan Carlson, Sixto Sanchez, Alec Bohm, Alex Kirilov, Jake Cronenworth, Cabrian Hayes, Joe Adele, Joey Bart, and Mr. Christian Pache. Lots of other rookies also available in the set. It's actually more rookies than normal this year. Lots of good names. A lot of them that you saw in Top Series 1 and Top Series 2. We're now seeing all of them in one set here for Stadium Club. So very nice there. We've also got the Parallels Autos inserts that we can cover off on. Returning once again, the Lone Star Signatures. Those are very nice pulls out of Stadium Club. The tri Triumvirate Die Cut inserts, again, returning after a few years off. Very cool uh, designs there. We've got the Photographer's Proof. Those are going to be one in two cases. Very hard pulls, but if you pull one of those, should be a very, very nice hit for you. And of course, the base card chrome parallels and autos are always ones that we're going to want to be chasing. 
And for 2021, we have the Stadium Club Greats inserts. Those are going to be inserts from years past, like reprints. Very cool ones there. They're going to be exclusive for the 30-year anniversary of Stadium Club. And the always popular and iconic Beam Team inserts and autos return again for 2021. Of course, the rainbow foils to tens, the gold foils to ones, those are all going to be basically hobby hits. So be looking for those in hobby. And we get the superstar duos autos. That's going to be dual autos on each side of a card. We'll show you what that looks like here in a little bit. And of course, the box toppers, those are fun, but they're even more fun when you get the autoed version, which is available in Stadium Club this year. So let's cover off on the inserts. First, the ever popular Beam Team, 25 cards. It's a case hit, guys. Uh, you got a parallel. It is a red, which is one in 10 cases, a black to 25, an orange to 10, and a gold rainbow one of one. Inst Division returns again this year. That's going to have 10 cards. Parallels of red, black, orange, and gold rainbow. And then you have the Master Photo Base Image Variation Box Topper. That's going to be one in every blaster box, 25 different cards you can collect in that subset. And for hobby, you've got the oversized base variation box topper, 50 cards in that set, one per hobby box. Then you've got the Stadium Club Greats, 25 cards. You can see what that looks like over there on the right with Clayton Kershaw, basically a reprint of old Stadium Club cards. You've got a parallels of red, which is going to be a case hit, a black to 99, an orange to 50, and a gold rainbow one of one. There's more inserts. We have the Superstar Duos, 15 cards, and they are printed with two different players, one on the front, one on the back. You got a parallel, red, one per case, black to 99, orange to 50, and a gold rainbow, one of one. Very cool cards there. That's actually, an, I believe, from the 1993 Stadium Club set, or maybe it's 97. I could have that wrong, but that is actually an old one that they brought back for the 30th anniversary. And then the Triumvirates return after a few years off, 30 cards in that set, it actually ends up only making 10 cards total if you put them all together. Uh, but you can see the parallel breakdown there as well. And then we have Virtual Reality, which is going to have 25 cards with the same parallel breakdown as most of the other inserts. Those basically take stats as if the season last year had gone a 162 game season instead of the 60 that were played. For our autographs. We have the base autographs, which are what you're going to pull most of. There are, it's a large checklist. It's got 142 different subjects on it. Our parallel is going to be red foil, black foil, rainbow foil, and gold rainbow. The rainbow and the gold only available in hobby. You can see what those base autographs look like over on the right. They're all on card autos and right on the beautiful picture. It's been that way for years with Stadium Club. And then there's also the Beam Team Autos. There's going to be 15 cards in that set. They're each numbered to 10, but you do get a parallel of orange and gold rainbow. You can also get the Chrome Variations. Those can be autoed. 86 different cards in that set, each numbered to 10 or less, with a parallel Super Fractor 1 of 1. Then the ever-popular Lone Star Signatures. 18 cards in that set. I believe they're actually numbered to 25. Uh, with a parallel of orange to five and gold rainbow one of one. A few more autographs you can get. Oh, by the way, that's what the Lone Star signature looks like over there on the right. You've got the oversized base autos. There's going to be 26 cards, each numbered to 10 or less. Those are going to be that box topper. It's a very cool one there. The Stadium Club Greats autos, that one is available as in an autoed version as well. 18 cards in that set, each numbered to 15 with an orange and gold breakdown on the parallel. And then the Superstar Duos autos. Eight cards in that set, each number to 10 or less, autographed by both individuals on front and back of the card with a gold rainbow one of one parallel and the virtual reality autos. 13 cards in that set, 10 cards or less, orange and gold rainbow breakdown. So that's everything that you can pull out of Top Stadium Club. So as you're buying into breaks, what are the teams that you should be looking for? Well, I'm going to give you who I think is the best who I think has the most value, a couple sleepers. So let's dig in. Best team, the Atlanta Braves. 14 different base cards, four different rookie cards, 24 different inserts, and 21 autos. And some of those autos, like I said, a lot of different rookies. Very, very nice. 
auto checklist and the fact that they've got 14 base. It's a great team to be buying into if you are buying into Stadium Club. However, if you're looking for the most autos, that's going to be the New York Yankees. They have 20 base cards, three rookie cards, 29 inserts, and 29 autos. Now, might they be the best team? Well, maybe. I actually think the auto checklist is a little bit better for the Atlanta Braves. But hey, what do I know? Ronald Acuna Jr. couldn't be that good. Oh, wait. So, uh, so I, the Yankees, still a fantastic team. Tons of autos. You're going to get tons of Yankees cards in this. So if you can get the Yankees cheap, I doubt you will. But if you can get them for cheap or if you can trade for them because they're your favorite team, a great team to have in Top Stadium Club. If you're looking for another solid choice, a little bit of a surprise here. The Seattle Mariners, they've got 10 base cards, one rookie card, 18 inserts, and 21 autos as well. But if you look at the auto checklist, Jared Kelnick uh, has an auto in there, and he has yet to have a true tops rookie card. So Kelnick's in there. You've got a lot of other good names in there on the auto checklist. So the Seattle Mariners, a real nice choice, almost even a sleeper maybe, but I think after you look at the fact that Jared Kelnick's in there, not many people are going to sleep on the fact that there's an auto available of his. But if you're looking for the team that I think is going to hold the most value in the long run, the Chicago White Sox, they've only got nine base cards, but they do have four rookie cards, only 11 inserts and 16 autos. However, they also, just like the Mariners, have autos from Andrew Vaughn, Yerman Mercedes, uh, Luis Robert autos are in there. A lot of those names, really nice names, a lot of value to be had there. So I believe that the Chicago White Sox are the team that holds the most value in 2021 Top Stadium Club. But if you're looking for some sleepers, start looking to Philadelphia. The Phillies have 10 Different base cards, four rookie cards, 17 inserts, and a surprisingly large amount of autos in 18. And some of those autos, real nice. You're talking about Alec Bohm, Spencer Howard, names like that. Phillies have been a very nice spot in most teams in 2021 for Topps products, and that kind of is going to hold true here. The Phillies are not a team that a lot of people go after. In random teams, you might be able to trade for them. If you get another team that maybe you don't like or wanted to do a little bit better with, I don't think you're going to go wrong with the Phillies in stadium club if you're looking for another sleeper go to my tried and true miami marlins i've been saying it all season i do a lot of different breaks the marlins are a great team to get this year 10 different base cards in stadium club seven different rookie cards four inserts and 12 autos but almost every one of the autos are rookie card autos so they just have so many rookies and a lot of these rookies are playing real well the marlins you know, probably not competing in the East. However, at the same time, a very young team and a lot of these players have a lot of bright futures in the majors. So definitely look at the Marlins for another team that you can buy into probably cheap or trade for in a random team break. So what are the overall set positives for top stadium club? Well, this year it's got a very strong base set checklist. So just start there. Every good set starts with a good checklist. Plenty of uh, rookie cards and retired greats. Um, so you got everyone from you know Griffey Jr. down to Joe Adele and everyone in between. You also have the best photography, and it's not close that you're going to find in any set for baseball in 2021. It is what Stadium Club is known for. It's what it's been known for for 30 years. Beautiful photography, some amazing shots, some really cool cards. They pull out all the stops. So it's, again, if you like photography on a baseball card, you cannot go wrong with Stadium Club. The other thing, many of the autos in this set are not from the base card checklist set. And they do have plenty of value. We went over this, like Jared Kelnick, Andrew Vaughn, German Mercedes. There's a lot of other ones from other teams in there. But so those are some of the bigger names that you can find in the auto checklist that you can't find in the base checklist. And I also like that there's multiple case hits that can be found per case. We kind of covered off on what a lot of those are. But you've got that, you know, the members only stuff. You've got a bunch of parallels that end up being case hits. So kind of fun as we can chase a lot of different thing in cases. Finally, it is a beautiful set collector set. Not the hugest set, but you've got 300 cards there. Fairly easy to collect. A good representation of 
young stars, current stars, and retired stars in baseball. So just a very fun set to collect. Stadium Club is always, always top of mind for set collectors. And finally, we have a solid lineup of insert sets that are celebrating Stadium Club's past, like the duos cards and a lot of these other cards with the reprints that they're doing of rookie cards over the years. So some very cool inserts that they've got for Stadium Club to celebrate that 30th anniversary. And then finally, when you look at the auto checklist, it is a really nice auto checklist as well. Just a solid, solid checklist. They, I feel like Tops did a really good job of some retired stars. Obviously, a little bit of filler. Keep in mind, it's available in retail and hobby, so you're going to have a little bit of filler. But when you look at the auto checklist, I don't think you're going to be too disappointed in most of the autos that you pull from Stadium Club this year. But there are some set negatives as, as well. I think the most obvious one is... Stadium Club, it's never really been known for this, but they do not have a ton of numbered parallels. And it's going to make the people that, you know, people that like opening Panini products where there's kind of like a hit or a numbered card or something in every pack, it's going to make the hit addicts think that the packs aren't loaded. I personally don't think that's true, but when you open up some of these and you don't get anything in a pack but some base cards, in today's world, people don't seem to like that. Look at the photography instead and realize that every one of these cards might be special. Stadium Club, it's been around for a long time. It is a popular product. It does have a relatively high production run because it is released in retail and hobby. So the production run a little bit high, which can hurt your overall value over time. The other thing, because of production run and other elements, you've got the set not generally commanding the top dollar on the secondary market. It's no slouch either, but when you look at the Topps flagship set, look at some of the other higher end sets, Stadium Club is not the ultra premium set that it used to be. It's actually more of a value set these days, which is weird because of the photography, but that's the way it is. So if you're looking for a ton of card value on the secondary market, Stadium Club might not be for you. The other thing in 2021, quality control issues are still a thing and we are still having centering issues and production issues throughout Panini and Tops in 2021. It's hurting the overall card quality. Now, I mentioned that with Stadium Club because Stadium Club historically is a tough card to get graded to begin with. Uh, at the beginning of this, you saw two Fernando Tatis 2019 rookie cards. Very low pop on a 10. Most Stadium Clubs are hard to get in a 10. And I believe it's going to be even harder this year if the production and quality control issues continue. The other thing, I think it would be nice to have a relic subset or two for Stadium Club. I think they could do some beautiful designs with relics, but I get it. Stadium Club does not typically do that, has not typically done it in the past. So they have not introduced a relic subset, but I think it would be a great set to have one where you could maybe even do like a retail exclusive relic something like that. think it would be fun for Stadium Club. Hopefully you're listening, Tops. So that brings us to our one cent sensational set ranking, where we're going to find out how good Stadium Club really is. So let's break it down into 10 categories and get it scored on our scoring system over here on the left. Here's our 10 categories. First, I'm going to start off with appeal. It's been around for 30 years. I think the 30 years is actually going to increase its appeal a little bit. Most Baseball card collectors love Stadium Club. They love the photography. I think it's got a lot of appeal. Some of the investors are probably going to steer clear a little bit because of a little bit of a softer secondary market. But overall, I'm going to give it an eight. This year's base set checklist, solid. If you're looking for most of the rookies from 2021 that have already debuted and been out for a while, I know there's a few that just have been called up in the last couple of weeks that are not in here, but that's why they make Tops Update. But overall, for a set being released here in June, a very, very good checklist. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a nine. For the inserts and the relics, there are no relics, but for the inserts, we have a nice celebration of... The 30 years, a lot of the inserts look very nice this year. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a 7.5. For the parallels and variations, there are some variations in the box toppers, but the parallel rainbow, a little, a little weak, a little short, 
maybe not short, but I don't like that there's not a ton of numbered ones. We have ones that are 230, but people like seeing that number and there are only about five numbered parallels. So I'm only gonna give it a six. The auto checklist, I'm giving an 8.5. I went through this checklist a few times. Lots of big names on here. Everyone from Mike Trout, Ronald Acuna Jr., a bunch of Hall of Fame autos, a bunch of rookie autos. Sure, a little bit of filler. That's why I give it an 8.5. When you look at this checklist, it reminds me a lot of the checklist that we had in Gypsy Queen 2020, which was one of the big surprise sets of 2020, a very solid set. And I feel like they've done the same thing with Stadium Club this year. So be on the lookout for some of these autos. Very nice auto checklist. For Pack Odds and Production, I'm going to go ahead and give it an even five. There are sets that are produced more, and there are sets that are produced less. Stadium Club gets produced quite a bit, but the production runs aren't crazy big. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a five. Card quality. Would love to go higher on Stadium Club, but I cannot go over five, especially for a Topps product in 2021, until I consistently see that they are fixing their quality control issues that they have had all card collecting season. Miscut cards, cards that are showing up dinged and whatnot in boxes. I believe that's because they've been running behind on production all season, but someone's got to do quality control. Someone's got to be doing press checks. And until they do that, I cannot go over a five on a tops product here in 2021. So historical value, I'm going to bump it to a six, not the most valuable cards that you're ever going to find. They do have some big bangers that do command top dollar. Some of the autos command top dollar. And if you can get these cards graded at a 10, they also command top dollar. However, for the most part, with a higher production run and more of the common cards um, that you can pull more readily in packs, maybe not as much as the Topps flagship. So we we'll go ahead and give that a six. Artistic value, maybe a little bit biased here. I love baseball photography and this one, it's not even close. It hits it out of the park. Stadium Club always hits it out of the park. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a 10. The best photography in the entire hobby, bar none. And then our cost value. Our cost values are finally creeping back up in 2021. The boxes have become a little bit more affordable. I go ahead and give it a 6.5. Still a little expensive for what Stadium Club historically has cost. But keep in mind, you're getting two autos in a box that costs you about 125 bucks. So you've got you know, a cost per auto finally down to what is that around $65, $66, something like that. So a very, very reasonable cost per auto. You're going to get the parallels. I do think that you're going to find value in these. And I think long term, you can find value in a lot of the rookie cards from Stadium Club, especially if you're out there grading. So cost value finally creeping back up in 2021 compared to where it was a few months ago. So I go ahead and give it a 6.5. So what we're going to do, we're going to add all these up and then we're going to give you the one cent sensational set ranking score, which is a 71.5, a very good offering from Stadium Club, a four star set. This year's set seems to be like it could be a sleeper set for 2021, much like Gypsy Queen was last year. I feel like there's a lot of similarities for a lot of different reasons. We have a strong auto checklist. We have a strong rookie lineup. We have strong inserts throughout the set. Not a ton of filler on the autos. Hopefully the card quality is going to be there and the quality control issues are not a continuing problem into the second half of the year. But beautiful photography. Cannot wait to see what all of the different cards look like. A very, very good offering from Top Stadium Club to celebrate their 30th anniversary. So four-star set. I believe that if you are a baseball card collector, you're not going to go wrong with this. Investors may want to tread lightly, but I think there's going to be stuff here for everyone, guys. So a very, very good set from Stadium Club for 2021. So what was its score last year? Last year, it was a 70.5. So still a very strong score last year. Most of the 2021 sets have actually come back a little bit. This one went up. So I think Stadium Club, even a little bit better than it was last year. So congrats on that one, Tops. Hopefully we can get these cards through quality control real nice and create some real nice pieces for people's collection here in 2021. So 
Where does Top Stadium Club rank to date amongst all of the sets that have been released so far in this 2021 baseball card collecting season? It comes in at number two out of 18 sets. There's 18 major sets that have been released so far this season, and it comes in at two right behind Bowman Baseball, still leading the way with a 77.5. Technically, it's not really that close, but better than Top Series 1, better than the just-released Panini Select, which came out a few days before Stadium Club. This did knock Top's definitive out of the Top 10, so now Top's kind of taken over the Top 10 here a little bit, about halfway through the card-collecting season. So we've got Stadium Club at number 2, Top's Inception down at number 4, and Panini Select rounding out the Top 5. So, Comment below. Let me know what you think about Stadium Club. Let me know if you think that this is a great set to get, one that you're going to forget. Let me know if you're going to be buying in or staying on the sidelines. And overall, let me know what you think about these set reviews. If you do like them, be sure to throw over to first. Hit that like button for me. It's the best way that you, you can show me that you like these set reviews. Be sure to subscribe to the channel because we do these set reviews all the time. We've done 18 of them so far in 2021. And if you want to be the first person to see them, be sure to hit that bell notification so you can be the first person to get them when I push them live. Until next time, I hope you guys have great luck on your personal pack polls of Top Stadium Club. Good luck finding it out there in the wild. And as always, be good to your family, be good to your friends, be good to your neighbors. And until next time, take care.